the experience is all around us. Like I always say, a walk in the woods. It, it's always exciting because you're never, you're never there. It's always moving away from you. It's the infinity of, of space, uh, continuity, and uh, that's a thing that you might say is the, the new understanding of space is what's great. In the first place, you know, we sighted this house. Normally, I'm very conscious of north and south because of sun, wind, and views and that type of thing. But in this case, I, I was getting it oriented to the view, see, like that. Turned out after we got it, we checked at noon, true north. It's exactly true north and south, even though that's what I wanted, but I didn't know I was doing it. And the great part of this, in a hot summer day out in the courtyard, it can be 85 out. But here, with these beautiful woods, look, they go all the way back up the hill. It's always in the 70s. It never gets over 70s in here, all summer long. And in the, it also is protected from the, uh, not only the hot sun, but in the winter, the hill protects from the wind. So it's, that's important, uh, inciting a uh, uh, This, instead of bringing a car up to the house, we would have ruined this whole part of the house, you know, how most people do. Instead, to make a, oop, we'll do a back drive. <laughs> uh, instead, we have a 200 foot long walk, and the, and when I'm talking to audiences, you know, lectures, the, the, the usual dumb thing is to what they say is, what about the groceries? How do you get the groceries in? Should you ever have a wheelbarrow? <laughs> this way, you don't disturb nature because nature goes right under. We've made a bridge in. And so we, we don't touch anything, you see. We leave it just like this. And there's our... Uh, Duck pond. Oh, I have to get my hat because okay. of the sun. Hello, how do you do? <laughs> Welcome. So, this is uh, uh, the name of a uh, place uh, over there was Wings Point on the lake. The place down where we used to live. Maybe we should go down there and see that. Uh, that's East Farm, and this is Castle Forest. My wife named it the Green Forest Castle. You know. The, and uh, now we're going up to the mountain village where we now live. Uh, and at one time I was thinking of making more of a boardwalk and steps. And then I said no, because uh, the older you get, the harder it should be to move. And it's, it's good for your balance and your tactility to always be walking on rough ground like this, you see. Every day, several times a day, you're going up, and you're going, and, you, and you're going like this. And old people need that kind of uh, challenge to keep keep them getting so they can walk. One of the important things living here for my work, doing my work, is the fact that I'm in real nature all the time, every day, all day long. Um, I'm living and sleeping and working in real nature, not, not naturalistic, like so many landscape architects say, oh, I'm too geometric. You, they want to be naturalistic. Uh, that means fake nature, not real nature. So, as you can see, we start living in untouched nature in this whole place. The nice thing about living up here in the country is that you sense all times in nature, uh, all times of day, winter and summer. In the winter, for instance, I ski, cross-country ski down here and sometimes through the woods and then down there and then climb back again and ski. So I, four times I'm going back and forth, which helps my heart. <laughs> Hello. 
We like to have meetings here. People have come from London here and from um, Paris uh, several times. Uh, we did uh, La Défense in Paris, and the head of that the whole design part, part of it, Michel, Michel Moritz, has been here three or four times. And it makes it very nice to have a place for people to stay and also to entertain them. Uh, instead of having to go to a hotel or something, so it's okay. very, very nice. See, these honeysuckles, those are wild ones, and those are ones that seeds blew in from different around here. The honeysuckles, they're very beautiful. No, I don't have to do any planting. This is it just comes the birds plant for me. By walking in nature, you get a sense of scale, shade and shadow. You get a sense of of space that's disappearing. You never know what's beyond the corner. Like we're walking down there, and it's it's a, always a, a come on. You know, you get pulled in to the space. That's what I like to do in my work. That same experience, even done geometrically. You see. There must have been deer in here doing this. See? This is all deer where they spent the night. Our land goes up to that ridge. See those pine trees up on the top? That's our borderline. It goes all across like that, and it follows that line up. It meets that line meets it way over there. Uh, our children had a, a, two ski jumps way over in the corner there. One was a, one was a small one for younger kids, and one was a big one. 